journey. We have taken the liberty of organizing transportation. Just look at these beauties. Perfectly okie doke army surplus. Needing only a little brake work and shock absorbing devices. These ingenious pouches will be coming in handy no doubt. For they will be safekeeping all earthly treasures you do not wish to part with when the journey becomes, uh, how should I put it, uh, a little bumpy. I have prepared this brief film to illustrate the excellence of my invention. You see, much bumping around like crazy, but we're losing nobody. Just remember to be holding on to your hats and spectacles and to be keeping always your hands and arms inside the transport and also your legs and feet. Now, my friends, I must ask you to pay very much attention. At great expense, we have erected a mirror so that the curious may safely view the Chamber of Destiny. Quite simply, it works in this way. The riders at point A may view the riders at point D going through door two by viewing the mirror point B. See? But be warned. Once you have entered the chamber yourself, look not into the eyes of the idol. It would be dangerous. Very dangerous.
the creme de la creme of the international smart set are wearing khaki this year. And the new vacation hotspot is Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Everyone's agog over this intriguing discovery by famed archaeologist Indiana Jones. They've heard rumors that it rewards visitors with unlimited riches, eternal youth, or visions of the future. There's just one little hitch, the ancient temple idol. Dr. Jones's longtime friend Sala warns that if you so much as peek into its eyes, the next stop on your itinerary will be the Gates of Doom. Here's silent film star Nora West, one of the temple's recent visitors. She chose the fountain of eternal youth. No more matronly roles for Nora. Move over, Jean Harlow. This jubilant junior visited the Chamber of Earthly Riches. Looks like his allowance has gone up. Hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? How about a million of them? Why, even Sala confessed that he had recently visited the Observatory of the Future. Maybe he can tell us who will win the World Series. Let's ask. Forget about the series, my friend. The baseball players are the big winners. Someday, they will be making millions of dollars a year. Hmm. Perhaps even the vision of the gods can be a bit blurred. Will it happen? Keep your eye on the globe. Well, my friends, your moment is drawing near. Already I am envious of the wonders that await you. If you avoid the eyes of Mara, that is.
I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. Hold on. Get me out of here. Now, don't tell me that wasn't big fun.